Hi there. Today we have an awesome command creation. We will replicate the abilities of Shadow Shadow Fruit from One Piece. I actually made for abilities of it. And just to give you a heads up, I separate this command creation into for parts. Because if I'm going to show you all the commands for these for abilities in one video only, this video might be very long, which is inappropriate for a YouTube video. So for this video, I will going to show you first the commands for Shadow Scissors. We will use the Shadow Scissors to obtain Shadow from mobs. But let me show you first the items for the full Shadow's Shadow Fruit abilities. First is the Shadow Scissors to capture some shadows. Next ability is the Shadow Bat. Whenever we hold a totem, we can spawn an army of Shadow Bats. And when we hold a Nether Star, we can retrieve the bats to turn them into Shadow again. Then the third ability is the Giga Moria Mode. When we hold a Netherite Hoe, we can be invincible. The fourth one is the User's Shadow. Using this, we can spawn our own powerful Shadow. And also a part of the fourth ability, using this one, we can switch places with our shadow. Now time for the actual abilities demonstration. That are the all abilities. Now time to show the commands for the shadow scissors. Start by the particle aiming command. Compared to the other abilities of this shadow shadow fruit, the shadow scissors is not really the fancy one, that's why we only need to use a few commands for it. Whenever we hold a shears, the aiming particle will appear. Now let's add our unique tag as always. Now to add the no shadow tag to mobs,
This command will add a no shadow tag to the mob that is on front of us when we're holding the shears. No shadow tag means their shadow is already taken. Now for the shears sound effect. Whenever we take a shadow, this sound will be played. Hmm, something's wrong. Not on this one. Oh, wrong spelling of sheep. There it is. Now for the command, so that we can accumulate shadows. Using this command, we can now accumulate shadows. But first, we need to create an objective for shadow. And next is to display how many shadow we have. There you go, we get a shadow now. Next is the slowness effect for them. Whenever their shadow has been taken, they will be temporarily immobilized. Uh, something's wrong again? There's an extra letter on family. Alright, there is the effect. <laughs> and for the last command, for the no shadow mobs indicator. Using this command, we can now see if you already took the shadow of the mob. Oh, I forgot, don't put the last command to conditional, set it to unconditional. Now our shadow scissors is all set.
The main purpose of this ability is to gather shadow, because your shadow bats and gigamorium mode ability depends on it. The more shadow you collect, the more powerful you can be. So that's it for the shadow scissors. Tomorrow will be the commands for shadow bats. So stay tuned. This is Game Over Gaming. Signing out.